So one of the things you've heard me talk about at this channel is how much I love survival from the first game. I play it on a weekly basis, usually Saturday morning, grab a cup of coffee, take about an hour or so and play the game. Now, a few weeks ago, I put out my first survival video and in the video I asked if you'd like to actually hear the gameplay footage with my commentary as I'm actually playing. And many of you reached out saying, yes, that's something you would enjoy. So that's exactly what I'm doing today. We're going to get into the gameplay. But as always, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. I sincerely appreciate all of you being here today. And with that being said, let's get into survival in 2023. What is going on and good morning my YouTube family. Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade. It is Saturday at about 7 a.m. Pacific as I'm recording this and as promised I wanted to give you my commentary as I'm actually playing the game. Now, I really haven't done this before and I'm not going to talk through the whole thing but um yeah I love survival. Like I mean I could play this you know like I said I think I did an intro. I probably did an intro to this knowing how I work. Um play this every week Saturday morning just kind of to start the weekend takes me back such an amazing game mode, you know and, and I know it's not like I'm really farming for anything but just one of those games that's just really 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 enjoyable at least it is for me let me know what you think in the comments section and hopefully we'll have a good run because I'm posting this no matter what so hopefully it's not going to be crap and for me, it really all depends. I have a certain route I like to take. So hopefully I'm at the bottom of the map. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens uh, as we load in. Normally, I don't let the cinematic play. I kind of load right into the game because I want to get moving as quickly as possible. But, you know, I want to share it with you. So yeah, here we go. All right. See what we have. Do I know this? I think we're on the far west of the map southern part perfect okay good normally i like to go from east to west but west to east is fine too um i'll wind up skipping one of the landmarks but again it'll still be good street exit take my meds why won't this door open was that it said exit here didn't it street exit i don't know whatever all right let's try this one I think usually within the first, like, 15 minutes, you can tell whether it's going to be a good run or not. You know what I mean? So we'll see. And again, this is my second run. I, I stopped doing this. Like I said, I was doing it on a weekly basis, and, you know, just life happens. Things get crazy. So it's been a minute. I mean, it's been two weeks since my last run. So hopefully, like I said, this one will go well. And if I miss stuff, don't judge. I'm doing what I can. In the comments section, let me know what you think of this. Is this something you still play? Have you ever even jumped into the division like survival? I heard from a lot of you last week, or excuse me, the last time I did one of these videos. Saying that uh, you never played the first game. Like you're heavily invested into the second, but you never really played the first. And by the way, will you do me a favor as well, please? Uh, hopefully the audio, my voice is loud enough against the gameplay. And if not, I'll tweak it next week for the for the next one. So hopefully it does sound good. There used to be something else here, I swear. I know I'm forgetting stuff. Like, I know it. Like, I'm watching myself play knowing you're missing some stuff on there. Okay, there's something here. I swear there used to be a weapon case up here. It's like sense memory. It's so crazy. Uh, do I need to heat up? No, because I think there's... Alright, let's go down here. There should be at least two things here. There we go. Perfect. Let's grab this one. There we go. So this first landmark... Not the biggest fan. There's The, the, the main reason I like to start on the... Uh, and again, if my voice is kind of quiet, I do apologize, but everyone's still sleeping, so I got to be chill. So, um, yeah, there's that. I got to put that out there. But anyway, one of the reasons I like starting off on the furthest uh, eastern part of the map, uh, you know, in like southeast, just the very bottom corner, is because you can get into this, uh, you can get in one of the landmarks, get yourself a good weapon right out of the gate. 
which does make a difference. So the only reason I don't like taking this route is that I do not have anything else other than my handgun. But we should be good. All right. Got myself a shirt. That's it. All right, let's see what these gloves are. Uh, yeah, I like that. Turn that to junk. What's here? All right. Cool, cool, cool. Break it down. Get my uh, components and stuff. Okay. Take my meds again. And this guy's. Yes. See what happens. All right, let's see what we got here. Grab some goodies there. And this place has not been cleared, which is good. Hopefully we can get out of this one alive. Okay, where's everybody else? There we go. One more down. And we got a grenade on the way, I think. Yep. yep. Let's move over. So one thing I noticed about this game, and let me know in the comment section, is the after effects of the grenades that the NPCs throw seem to have, they, they seem to, you know, linger for a while. You know what I mean? Like compared to the second game, it seems like the, I don't know. It just seems like the uh, disorientation grenades and things like that seem to really hang out for a while in these games. Kind of messes you up. And it's great. Like I really love it. Again, to me at least, hang on, I want to go back and heat back up. But, you know, it's, I, I think I said this a minute ago when it comes to playing this, this is out of pure enjoyment. Like, I'm not trying to farm for anything. There's nothing I, I, I don't play this game, the, the first game, excuse me, um, other than survival. But it's so much damn fun. And that's, that's what I miss. That's what I'm looking forward to feeling again with the second game. Is that feeling of wanting to play just to actually play? Oh crap. Yeesh. Okay. There should be a heavy here. Or a purple bar. Where are they? Let's get a med kit. Oh, there he is. Don't die here. That's the goal. Oh, I'd be so pissed if I have to start over. How many med kits do I have? Just one. I know there's one. Oh, I just picked that one up. Shoot, I gotta use it. Or no, do I? I think I can fire out from cover. Yeesh. Okay, there we go. That should clear this landmark. And... Let's heat back up. Uh, there have been times, let me know in the comment section if this has happened to you, but there have been times for me where take out you know an entire area good to go everything is great don't realize how low my temperature is and all of a sudden i go into you know freeze mode don't have any more med kits and i wind up dying that way and that's like the worst happens to me more often than that you know than i'd like to admit but again what are you gonna do okay well am i stuck no good i've had that happen before where i try to take a weird route you know, you get caught on like some trees or whatever, and then it just says, please return to the playable area. And winds up crashing, which would have sucked. Because this is either going to be a 20 minute video or it's going to be like an hour and 20 minute video. It all depends on how things go. All right, here we have some body armor, switch to that. Yep, take that one. Nope, uh, yeah, I think so, Never mind. This is a thought. This is what goes through my head. You you are peeking behind the curtain right now. I like that one. Yeah, I just don't want to give... I just want a balance between the two, especially in survival. Like a nice balance of the damage in the armor. I remember when I first started to play this game, I, I wouldn't even... Not just survival, the first division. Had no idea of the concept of builds, really, you know? And it was... Ooh, everything, you know, increases. It must be better for my build, and that's not always the case, you know? So, again, there's just something about this game mode. All right, I'm going to be quiet for a minute, let it play, and, uh, yeah, we'll keep going.
temperature is below optimal levels. All right, I think we're closing in on some more. There we go. We've got a few more NPCs here than I thought. I need a weapon. Someone needs to drop a weapon. I mean, I guess I can get one from that next landmark. Ah, oh, crap. These are the moments where I'm quiet because I'm focusing on the screen and I can't... You, you, if you've seen my live stream, you know sometimes I just uh, go totally quiet because I'm like, oh, I gotta focus on the gameplay. There we go. Pick up some clothes. What's that? Okay, medicine. Is there one more NPC? I feel like there's one more. Did I miss someone? I guess I'll find out in a second. Shoot, temperature's down. How's my health? Ah, it's fine. Alright. Let's... Oh, you know what? I thought I was in a different area of the map. Shoot. I thought I was closer to the actual underground um, landmark. Alright, we need to get there. There should be a barrel up here. Okay, now we're good. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, this is the area that I thought I was at a moment ago. Okay, yeah, here we go. This is where the underground entrance is. There's so many things I forget about, too. You know, for instance, when you're picking up clothes in this game, you can just equip them right away, which is obviously something you should do. Oh, crap. Okay, here we go. We heal. I know there are some med kits up ahead, so that wasn't too much of a waste. Ooh, dizzy. Yeesh. Okay, we have anyone else? There we go. One more. Be a weapon. Be a weapon. Nope. Yep. Nope. Holster. Alright. Let's go into the tunnels. Er, what is it? A subway station? Yeah, I think that's it. Alright, swarm back up. Get some clothes. I usually don't go through my entire inventory until one spot. Hang on, I want to mark where I'm going next. There we go. There's actually a location you'll see me jump into between this one and the next one. That's usually where I do my first, like, full inventory check, you know? I do try to equip the clothes right away so I don't freeze, but sometimes, you know, you wind up pressing X instead of Y to equip it. All right, where's everyone? Okay, easy stuff. There we go. Where is that other NVC? There should be two or three more down here, I think. Okay, there's one, two. Do we have a third somewhere? Okay, this one right here. Yeah, one, two, three. Okay, good. Let's take care of the one with the turret. Let's grab this stuff first. I have a feeling this is going to be a good run. Yeah, I haven't... Oh, I had hope I didn't, didn't, just, didn't just jinx myself. I haven't seen any other agents yet either, which is strange. And again, this is PvE, but usually you'll run into at least one or two agents at different landmarks at the beginning. But again, I have no idea how many people are actually still in this one. There have been times where I'll jump in and immediately it will say like eight you know agents remaining and it's like okay that was quick so i don't know if it's like the load time and there's some lag or whatever it is 
it populates I can't remember populates as it's going on because you ideally want everyone jumping in at the same time you know anyway grab these goodies you know what I want to get the weapon first should be one right here in this box B and assault okay fine SMG I'll take it all right agents now we're good now I'm feeling comfortable we have another med kit. We should have two. That is our max at this point. Grab this mask. Wait, did I grab the mask? No, I didn't. Okay, now I got it. All right, let's head to the next location. Temperature detected. Grab a few things here, and then, so this little underground section, which we're about to go into in uh, one of the uh, sewers, I don't remember where I first saw this, you know, just like all of you out there, you know, when I first started playing the game, researched, you know, best routes for survival and whatever, and I do not remember whose video it was, it was a long ass time ago, but saw this spot right here, and I just went past it, hang on, let me take out these. There, there we go. These NPCs are real quick. Okay. You know, let's see if there's anything good. Nope. So anyway, um, I forgot where I first saw this route and just absolutely love it. Slide down here. Grab some tools. And I know in the underground part, which you'll see in a minute, I know I miss a few things up top. I'm not too worried about it. Um, it's My main goal is this. So when I'm playing... You know, I try to get to the DZ in or around about 30 minutes. Because I want to make sure I can get those, uh, the division tech, so I can, you know, at least craft weapons. You know, if I can get four, that's perfect. If I can get at least two, that way I can, um, craft an assault rifle and a sniper rifle. That's all I want to be able to do, or marksman rifle, excuse me. But I love this one stop really quick. Grab all these goodies here, which is nice. And after this, I think we'll hit one more landmark. Do we have another landmark, or do we just go right to... I don't know, I'll have to check my map in a minute, but... I think at this point, 
we will probably go to safe house um yeah upgrade some stuff or craft some stuff excuse me hang on let's drink one of the waters waste not what not want not okay here we go so yeah i think the next stop is no actually there is one more landmark never mind i'm gonna be quiet now all right let's get to the next landmark actually let's see what we have inventory wise is this burst fire no i don't think so hang on That always screws me up. If I don't, like, if I'm not paying attention and I wind up... Oh, there we go. That's a good uh, mask right there. Any good bag? Perfect. Always messes me up if I'm not paying attention and I equip a burst fire assault rifle and don't realize it before I try to fire and take out, you know, NPCs. Always messes me up. All right, let's go to the next landmark now. So this is another one of my favorite spots to hit because if it, it all depends on where the NPC are up top when we get there, but ideally you fire a few shots, you draw them in one direction, and you don't have to engage with them at all, which is great. But what that also does is it keeps the landmark marked as incomplete, even though you've already looted the thing. So ideally it will draw an agent to that area, which gives you more time to do other stuff and shoot wrong weapon ah crap but anyway so what I'm trying to do now is I want to draw these NPCs I'm not even worried about hitting them get everyone down on the ground there will be one NPC in here where are they over right there did I get them? no what the come here okay there we go so right now all the other NPCs are on the lower level so I just want to come in swoop up all this stuff as quickly as possible move on and because the NPCs are still here, it um, keeps it marked on the map as, you know, that the you know, landmark is still open. So like I said, that way um, it can buy you some extra time if someone happens to try to loot this place and then they get here and they realize, well, crap, everything's already gone. Yes, that's totally shady, but hey, survival, what are you going to do? Alright, that's good. What was that, an SMG? Okay, got another one. So after this, what I'll do is usually at this point, this is when I go to a um, one of the safe houses and, you know, do all my crafting, get a few... Oh, do, 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 there we go. 
uh, get some stuff crafted, and then make my way to one final landmark where I like to try to get some purple gear, and then we make our way into the dark zone. So let's keep on trucking. Sides indicate probable infection. Alert. Infection temporarily stabilized. Temperature dropping below normal levels. You know, I said this earlier and I don't want to jinx myself, but this feels like a really good run so far. Usually I've run into two or three hiccups by now, you know, like things already being cleared or, you know, whatever. But uh, so far so good. So yeah, let's take out these NPC. And then we are going to uh, go into the safe house. Craft some goodies. Get a few skills going. Is there another one? There he is. Oh, wait, shoot. Uh, yeah, perfect. Good, 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 good. And the landmark I'm trying to get to is still available. Unless someone, you know, did what I just did. And uh, took all the stuff but left all the enemies, which would suck. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to, hang on, go through all our stuff. What are we keeping? What are we getting rid of? We're going to equip that, break that down. Nope. Yep. Garbage, garbage garbage is that everything yep let's break it all down okay so what i tend to do is this or actually let's get our clothing going oh finally there we go got a full ensemble now so what i do and i found this out the hard way is initially i'll do the the uh, virus filter first thing i craft when i get here are the filters and then i go to um you know, your weapon mods, I do two extended magazines and a uh, scope for a marksman rifle. Because ideally, when we get to the dark zone, I'll be able to craft, I uh, usually craft an assault rifle and a marksman rifle, so that way I have a scope board and extended magazines for both. And we're going to break all this stuff down. So what happened before, I think it was with tools or whatever, is you can only craft certain things, you know, with, with 
um, green tools or green electronics or whatever. And that's how I missed out on crafting the uh, extended magazine and the, and the scope. So I always make sure that's the first two things I uh, take care of. All right, so now we are going to... Wait, I already did that. Get the extra med pouch. I like having that. The heater just clicked on, so if you hear that, I do apologize. But again, it's early in the morning and it's cold. What am I... Uh, you, you've heard me say it. Okay, we got the pulse. We got the turret. Those are my two favorite ones to use. I don't think I need anything else. All right, so let's get that magazine on here. Okay, we're good. Grab the magazine for this. Equip this as the primary. There we go. Put the skills where they need to go. Pulse right there. Turret. Sweet. All right, let's make our way to the next landmark and hopefully find some uh, more goodies there. Detecting lowering of core body temperature. Threat of hypothermia increased. All right. Let's make our way up here. Hopefully nothing has been uh, messed with here. This is the last spot I will stop before we hit the DZ. Yeah, like I said, it's been pretty damn smooth. I like it. Pulse. Make sure we have enemies. We do. Okay, this is undisturbed. So chances are we're good. There's a way you can also pull the NPCs towards you. And uh, go around like those back stairs you can see on the right hand side. It's tricky getting out without having to engage with NPCs. But you can actually get in here to get the stuff. And you just gotta again, get yourself out of there. But you pretty much, I think at this location, no matter what, you usually have to engage in some way. Make your way up here. This is what I use the LMG for at this part. Oof, terrible lane. There we go, let's do with that. There's tank. Okay, there's one tank. Was that the back one or the side one? Okay, that was the back. Hit the side one really quick. Light that up. Perfect. Are you down? Beautiful. Good, good, good. Alright, what else? This should be easy from here. So this is a nice one. Yeah, they came out. Oh, this is perfect. They are lining up like fish in a barrel. Next one. Man, my neighbor's dog is like... It's like... What time is it now? Like 7.35? The dog is loud across the street. Don't know if you can hear that. So if you can, sorry. Alright, that's that. I think there's one more. There's usually one NPC, and I, it's weird because in my last run that I did this, I think I saw it as well. I don't know if it was in last week's 
or two weeks ago. That footage. NPC that just like hangs out in the corner. Yeah, this guy. What's he doing? Just hanging out. It's so funny. There's such a difference in how the weapons handle between the second game and the first game. It takes a minute to get used to. And this is really the only thing I play when I do jump in to the first game. All right, it's got a good bag there. Love seeing those purples drop. Oh, take my meds. There we go. Tools here. And chances are, I don't hopefully you're not like screaming at the screen going, you missed something. Oh well. So when I first started playing this, you have that bomb right there, which is about to go off. There were so many times I would forget that was there. And that would be the end of me. Like in this area. Where the other NPCs would just be shredding me, and I'm like, oh, I'll just get here and get this gear and get out, and then forget the bomb was there and just lights out. Oh. Hours upon hours on this on this game mode. Alright, let's do an inventory check. Oh, we got some good weapons. Oh, we're switching to that vector. 1000 mm, percent Not the MP5. Let's go, yeah. Go vector. Need to get the extended magazine on here. Pull it from the military AKM. We'll keep the LMG as the secondary for now. Don't need this. Well, should I keep it? No. I like, I always want to make sure I have at least, like at this point until we get to the dark zone, I want to keep an assault rifle as well. So that way you have at least, you know, three to four weapon types. I shouldn't have gotten rid of that shotgun. Oh, well. Keep the mask as is. Yeah, I think that's fine. All right, let's see if we got any. Mm, nope, not worth it. We got to get something good. E no. Nope, no. Nope. I like what I have so far. Let's break this down and let's, um, where do we go from here? I think we're going to jump into the DZ now. Let's make our way to the uh, Dark Zone, friends. You know what I just realized? There is one more spot we're going to hit before we get the dark zone. I normally, you know, what are we like? We're like 40 minutes in. I usually don't take this long, but since, you know, I don't know. It just seems like, again, I, I know I keep saying this. It seems like it's going to be a good run. Now, if we can round this corner, there should be a few bags that have some weapon parts in them. And if that's the case, that means this area right uh, up ahead that has some good gear as well should be um should be some npcs here if that's the case we're gonna get some other good stuff too which is nice yeah it seems like a smooth run 
Watch me die once I get to the dark zone. I hope I didn't jinx myself. All right. Here we go. Okay, good. Uh, where is the turret? Turret. Oh god, what a bad throw. That was terrible. Yeesh. Get it together, man. All right, there we go. Oops. There we go. We have one or two left. I think two? One? No, we have two. Ooh, this vector. Nice. This is a good weapon. Perfect. Alright, let's grab the stuff. Should be one right here. Wait, did I pass it? Yeah, I did. Got some gloves. Come back for the blues in a minute. Some electronics. Let's see what's in here. Nice holster. That'll be an upgrade. Grab myself a beverage. Okay, got the mask. We have so much time. A lot of meds, too. This is great. Alert. Patient temporarily stabilized. Nope. Mm, yeah. That's a big upswing with toughness. I like that. No, I want the weapon damage, though. Get rid of that one. There we go. Good. Good, good, good. Nope. Dump that. Dump that. Let's break all this stuff down. Check our clothing. There's some high rank, not high ranked, but like high level clothes. There's some times where I, you know, I'll get like two pieces of gear. I don't know if this has happened to you before. Let me know in the comment section if you're still around. There's some times where it's like all I'll get when I'm trying to farm for, you know, clothing or whatever. It's like. I get like 19 jackets and one pair of shoes. It's like, man, I'm going to be freezing this whole time. Like, no matter what, I get all jackets, like nothing else. All right. I think we're good now. Yeah. So, yeah, we don't have to worry about freezing anymore. That's good. Got some high-end clothes. Grab these weapon parts and jump into the DZ. Alright, first of all, when you get into the dark zone, you land on the ground and you see that notification where it says uh, agent has reached the dark zone. That's a good thing because that agent is you, so you know so far most stuff should be undisturbed. Should I engage with these enemies or not? I just want to mess stuff up. Who cares? I don't want to mess stuff up though, like getting this far. But again, it's just one of those runs. It seems good. Maybe if I keep saying that, I won't jinx myself. What's the over-under on my, uh, dying without extracting? What are the odds? Feeling pretty good. Coffee's kicking in. Alright. Okay, this one. And over here. This thing kicks like a mule. It's a weapon. Alright, let's get... Yeah, let's deal with this. Oh, nice. This vector. It's so crazy. It's so great in this game when you actually get like a really decent weapon. It makes the biggest difference. So at this point, what we're going to do, obviously we have to get the um, antiviral. But first stop is an underground garage, hoping we get um, some div tech there. That's how we're going to craft at least two you know, high-end weapons. And if we have those, it makes everything else so much easier. Like so much easier. Especially with the hunters at the end. I think in the last one that I posted a few weeks back, I think I had all purple and blue, and I was able to get out of there. It was a close one. It was a pretty damn close one, but I think we still extracted. I don't even know if I cleared any landmarks, though, in the last one. Maybe I cleared one landmark, or someone else was there, I think. I think there were a few other agents, whatever. So let's shoot for at least three landmarks on this run. And it's all going to depend on time, too. Probably have another, like, 
well, let's just get there. I was going to say, I probably have to shut this thing off in like half hour or so, because the family's going to be running around. Dogs are going to wake up. It's going to be madness. Okay, good. If we see stuff that's highlighted already, that means beautiful. This is what we wanted right here. Good, good, good. Let's go back to the ambulance. Get some medicine. Get our antivirals real quick, and then we are good to go. Pretty sure it's safe to say I don't really have to worry about the infection at this point, but if I have the medicine, I'm still going to use it. Take these enemies out, and then hopefully, I'm pretty sure I'm in the right spot for the antiviral. Sometimes randomly there are NPCs, so as we're going to go out the store, we're going to make a left, and sometimes there are NPCs if you go to the right, and hopefully... Okay, we would have known by then, because we would have been shot. Antiviral cache secured. Okay. So now we're going to make our way to the Khaleesi Sports Store. Khaleesi. I always say that, the Khaleesi Sports Store. Uh, anyway, we're going to the Sports Store. That's where I also pick up two more Division Tech. That way I can craft one or two um, high-end pieces of gear. You know, we'll take a look at the gear at that point, decide what we want to try to pick up, whether it's body armor or mask, whatever it is, backpack. We'll see where we can ideally get the strongest uh, gear, what we can put where. Oh, Lord. There we go. Oof, that was sloppy. What have we got? Or some more gloves, that's good. I always love picking up that gear where it's just just you see green all across the whoa no 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 went the wrong way I am not trying to clear this landmark right now oh gosh that was almost awful oh I'd have been so pissed off let me just get out of this oh man that would have been oh mm -mm. that was it that was my almost big mistake that was my one get out of jail free card holy crap that was close all right let's get to the store sports store now we will hopefully come back and clear this in a minute but right now we're here for the div tech hopefully it is there yes it is right on man this is just a good run i love it i mean granted i almost got you know massacred had i uh, all those npcs seen me before i saw them all right now we go to a safe room and craft our stuff and um yeah then come out and do some hunting
Okay. In the safe zone. Okay, what do we do first? Let's check the gear we have and break down everything we don't need. Boom. Let's equip that. Uh, no. Break that down. Is that everything? Yep. So what I do is this. First thing I'm going to do is... What's highlighted? Oh, the scope. I forgot about that. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is craft the flare gun. That way it's just done, taken care of. Flare gun required for extraction is then now we want to um, convert all of the electronics, the fabric, the tools. Hopefully I have enough um, weapon parts to be able to craft at least two weapons, which I'm pretty sure I do. We have enough electronics as well, I think, to craft a few pieces of gear. We'll find out in a minute. Pretty good haul so far. Uh, not too many tools. What do I need the tools for, though? Oh, I can't remember. We'll find out. We will find out together, my friends. All right. One more. Okay, so for me, I always, always craft the MG36. Just really like that weapon in this game. Absolutely love it. Oh, that one's a monster, too. Good, good, good. We'll equip that as the primary, then scroll down to the bottom. Here we go, get our SOCOM. Those are the two weapons. And let's equip those really quick. I'll hang on to the SMG. Well, let's see, hang on. Yep, equip that. This two is my secondary with the SOCOM. We gotta put on the scope and the clip. Okay, got that. Extended magazine. Got that there. I'm gonna keep the other weapons for now. So we can ideally we can craft three high-end pieces and hopefully they're good rolls. So we'll do backpack. I'm sorry, we'll do chest, bag, and what was the other one? Was it knee pads? Pretty sure it was knee pads. Warning. Infection detected. There we go. I don't know how these are going to compare to the, the, the gear we have. That, that one's better, that's for sure. The knee pads we'll wind up using, I think. Okay, so let's see. Yep, boom. That's good. I like that. Not so much. Going to keep the blue... Oh, yeah. Damn. Oh, well. Keep it as is. Break it down. What do we get for it? Okay, get another piece of div tech. I think I'm out of electronics. I think this is good. I think we're okay with gear. I want to get to some landmarks. I want to get to hunting. Hopefully, uh, yeah, I don't want anyone to take my stuff. I mean, not that anyone can because we're playing PvE, but I don't want anyone going to my landmarks. All right, let's hit the library. Now, this first one... I forgot again saw this a while back love hitting the spot so local infection I think I'm out of I think I'm out of meds I think we're fine though with time what do we have like 55 minutes left something ridiculous like that 50 minutes yeah I think we're good um, we're not gonna be here that long so what I do with this one is we've got these NPCs right here take a quick shot Get them coming towards you. Go right back up that rope. Now, the only thing that can get tricky sometimes, if there are other agents nearby, they can easily swoop in and uh, snag the stuff that drops from the enemies. So hopefully that won't be the case. We'll see what happens. There they come. Perfect. Scope in. And the other good thing is there are some times where... If, if the if the heavies happen to stop in one area, they don't move. Like, they literally stay in the exact same spot. So you can just headshot them over and over again without, like, being in any danger whatsoever. Got to keep a lookout for the grenades they throw, but if, if it's like this one. Man, I've died up here before. Just bled out. It's like, oh, this sucks. All right, get that pulse. So yeah, on some of these, and hopefully this is one so I can actually show you. There are some times where they just do not move. Do we have one right here? Oh no, he's moving. 
What did we just hit with? Okay, let's put up our turret. And ideally, you can put yourself in a situation or in an advantage point, like right here. So hopefully, he just stays put. And if that's the case, it just yeah. Look at this. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. And I don't think from this angle they can actually. Oh gosh, if they both stay there, that'd be lights out. Oh come on, focus. I'm gonna nail these headshots. Come on, rookie. What is that? How am I missing? They're not even moving. Okay, there's one. Okay. There we go. Be cool. Everybody be cool. Five more shots. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Is that it? No, there were a few purple, weren't there? Where are they? Oh, they're behind me. See, this is where the G36 just well, if my aim to the sock just melts. Oh, Lord. That's embarrassing. I should edit that right out. Here we go. Oh, I hear voices. I hear voices. People are starting to wake up in the house. We're going to have to wrap this up. All right, let's, we got to clear at least two landmarks, right? Am I right? Are we doing this? All right, we're doing this. Let's get our way. Let's uh, make our way to the next one. Right back at the sports store. Let's clear this area. Where am I going to put the turret? I always seem to get the wrong angle down here, but as long as we have this vantage point, we should be good. It's when you get a rogue NPC coming up to the top floor, things can get sideways pretty quick. But ideally, with this G36, you can pretty much take them out pretty fast. Oh, I've got to work on my aim on this game. EGAD. EGAD. Down. There go. Let me know if you can hear it. There's like cars racing like down the road. Let me know if you can hear that in the background. Totally side thing. But it's loud, or at least it's loud to me. Alright. Where is the Where's the name boss? I mean I hear doors slamming. Things about to get crazy in the household. I'm telling your family. Where is he? Where's one? I think just the named, or do we have two left? No, names up top. One right here. Switch to. Arson, okay. Ooh, missing, missing, missing. We're not gonna die now. That's not happening. We're past that point. Like there's no. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's go hunting. Where'd you go? There you are. I need to get closer. Just keeps running away. Come on. Oh, that was a bad spot to toss it. Nowhere to go. When the hell did he get over there? How'd that happen? All right. It's a good spot. Can I pick this up? No, you can't pick that up. All right, let's get closer. Let's take it away too long. 
weird too because I haven't seen any other agent. How many med kits do I have? Two? Okay, good. I'm totally good. Well, that's not going to do any good. There we go. Can get him out. Just don't go down that. He's going back. He's going the entire way down, isn't he? He's going to pop out that other window on the other side of the building. Yep, there he is. Knew it. All right, we got to finish this up. This is taking too long. I know the door's about to be kicked out of the office. There we go. We got to get in. We got to get in close, agents. Got to switch weapons. It's time. It's time, agents. We've got to get close for the kill. Swoop in from the right. Surprise the enemy. Let's go. Let me have a drink of water first. Hydration is important. Now we make our, our ninja-like move. Alright, good. Are we clear? All right, we're clear. Let's get this stuff, and then... Do we do one more landmark? I don't know. Yeah, we need to. I said three. We gotta do at least three. Um... Where are we gonna go? I think we'll go to the blockade. Now, here's the thing. Which, well, and uh, Look, I don't know if there are certain landmarks in this game where you just have bad luck. For me, the blockade is one of them. Like, I always get my ass handed to me there for some reason. So, hey, let's roll the dice and see what happens. Promise is a promise, agents. If I promise you three landmarks, I got to uh, I got to deliver, you know? This has been a really good run so far. Not so much about the points I'm going to earn, but just, you know, everything is where it's supposed to be. It's been nice. And, the, and if you play this game, you know that's not always the case. So this has been really enjoyable. Right, let's get rid of the sealed mod cache. I do not need that. I want to get as many survival caches as I can. And I think... Do the uh, hunters at the end... Do they drop survival caches? Or are those random as well? I know all named enemies drop a survival cache. I don't know. Anyway, we'll fi fi you know, figure it out. Uh, hopefully we figure it out. Alright, let's go to the blockade. Where is that? Alright, right here. Let's head down and continue our hunt. Alright, agents. Let's see if this was a good, good move or a bad move. We're about to find out. Here. There's a lot of movement out there. Dogs are starting to run up and down the hall. Yeah, it's going to get crazy in this house soon. Bunch of family stuff playing this weekend. Good weekend. Looking forward to it. Then the Niners play tomorrow. Go Niners. Yeah, it's going to be a good weekend. But I want to start this off with just a really... And by flawless run, again, I'm not talking about high score. I'm 
talking about just when everything is where it should be, you know, for you as a player, it's always just, it's always fun. It's always nice to have that type of room here. Man, my aim is awful. All right, what do we got next? Where are we? Why am I trying to pick stuff up? That's just stupid. Well, here we go. Got someone in that window. Do we just have the heavy left? Is that it? No, that can't be it. Okay, that makes more sense. 45 minutes left. That's awesome. A good angle here, that's nice. No, I guess it's not that great of an angle. Here's that other NPC. Pulse is still recharging. Oh, beautiful, thank you. Right down the alley, perfect. So now we just have the heavy. This could be a good port vantage point right here. Where'd you go? There we go. How many med kits? I have two, we'll use one. Pulse. There we go, right there. Uh-oh, okay, good. I thought I threw it, like, and it bounced off. That should be... He's probably gonna shred that pretty quick, but hopefully it will divert... Ah, oh, damn it. Where you going, buddy? Okay, let's switch to marksman, or sniper, whatever you wanna call it. Get those headshots. Oh, this is great. Keep reloading, take your time. There's no rush, no one's shooting you. There we go. Third landmark, mark. That was weird. Cleared. Let's grab a few things. Get that survival cache. I know there's like another, um... There's another cache at each landmark. I think I opened it up at the last one. I didn't even go to the first one. I just realized that at the library. I just took off from that point. So that was a mistake. But it doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't... There wouldn't have been a survival cache in that one. Leave this stuff here. All right, let's, uh, should we get another, let's go to extraction. I'm just thinking if I need another med kit, or do we just try with one? I say we roll the dice. I say we go with one. I don't know. Because, again, I don't want to have gone through all this just to die. I think we're going to go back to the uh, safe house, craft a few, you know, high-end med kits real quick. Yeah, I feel good about this decision. I think this is the right choice. You know, I'd rather have the med kits and not need them than be at the very end, you know, get hit with like a seeker mine and bleed out because I don't have any more kits. Again, after this run, it, it would be like the perfect run if we actually get to extract. And, you know, talking about survival, for those of you that haven't played it, you know, I put out a video a little while ago talking about should you play the first division in 2023? The answer is yes, if you haven't played it before. Now, I said in that video, focus on the story, the main missions, just so you have an idea um, of what the first game was like. And when you get to max level, you're not going to worry about farming and gear and stuff like that. You're not going to worry about leveling up your character that way. But it opens up like this game mode and it is so much fun. So, so much fun. At least I think. And again, for those of you out there, there's PvP and there's PvE. Now, I'm playing PvE, so if I ran into any agents whatsoever, they can't hurt you. They can steal stuff that's on the ground, but they can't, you know, they can't take stuff with you. Or, excuse me, uh, they can't take stuff from you. So, let's say, for instance, uh, you know, I took out one of those named bosses and there was another... Take these two out because I'm not going to get flanked when they come back down here. But let's say, you know, I take a, uh, took out a name, named enemy, excuse me, and uh, there was another agent nearby that named enemy dropped a survival cache. They could have picked it up, you know. So that's the only thing. It is like uh, whoever gets to it first. Oh, two agents remaining. Okay, there we go. 
So I need to be careful here. We're gonna do a we're gonna pop the flare, go across the street to that building. Old school moves. Make sure that there's not another agent near my location, because if there is, a second hunter will pop up. And I just want to be aware of that if that's the case. Because I don't want to try to snipe the hunter from across the street. That takes too long. So as long as there's one hunter, then we'll come back. Get a feel for it. Because there have been times where, you know, you're on the roof. And it looks like there's one hunter. But all of a sudden, another one just acts as your dome out of nowhere. So, again, we do not want that to happen. All right, let's see what we got. A turret right here at the end. Let's pulse out first, actually. He's just chilling. They are chilling over there. Okay, great. Make the move. On the side of the building. Can you put... Let's go marksman. Come on, pop your head out. I can get four shots in uninterrupted. One, two, ah, uh, damn it, no. He's gonna heal up. Yeah, no. I think we're just gonna go back down. I don't see any other, any other hunters, so I think we're square. Because again, this is gonna take too long if we go this route. Yeah, we're jumping back. We're going head to head, agents. It's time to show them what we're made of. How's my health? Let's eat a can of food. Slowly uh, gain some of that health back. Okay, he's up top. Do not shoot me from there. Thank you. Oop, seeker mind. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Where are you? Oh, you're down here now. Okay, we got you. Yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Two med kits. Oh, this is lovely. Don't heal yourself. Alright, let's turn the corner here. Try not to use any more med kits in case another hunter shows up. You know, I'm tossing the turret wondering, can they, um... Oh yeah, that's it. Lights out, buddy. Done. Can hunters in survival... I don't even know this. And if I do, I've forgotten. Can they take control of your turrets? Can they hack your stuff? Because I know, obviously, in the in the second game, you know, you you drop a uh, or not drop, but you launch a, a assault drone, and they can hack that thing in two seconds, and it's lights out for you. All right, here we go. That was a good survival run. I'm happy with that, agents. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, friends. Gonna start to wrap this up. Family's waiting. Have a fun day ahead of us. And that's about it. Thank you so much for swinging by, watching this. I hope you enjoy the commentary. Do me a favor. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. This is something I want to try to do on a daily basis. I really did enjoy this, to be honest with you. Even though it's like just me talking to myself. I, I feel like you're in the room with me. Well, not in the room with me. That'd be some creepy, creepy shit. But I feel like you are. I'm not calling any of you creepy, but you know what I'm saying. Um... Feel like you're on the other end. I mean, which you are because you're watching this, but whatever, dude. It's early. Don't judge. I'm going to have a little more coffee, finish some breakfast, and head out with the family. So, again, thank you all for being here. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to each other. Let me know what you thought of this. And we'll see you soon. Thanks again, everyone. Agent, I was worried about you there. It's not a surprise that you managed to get out of that situation. You got some serious chops. Get back here and let's get to work.
Incoming supply drops detected. 